Hi, this is Danica and I build WordPress membership sites. And is in this example, I'm going to show you how I build a specific page with some downloadable items and some video listing with the help of um, Mimberium with Jet Engine. Now, Jet Engine is a plugin from Crocoblock. Um, and you could get that in a package. Um, so if you're interested, you could visit their website, crocoblock.com, and they also sell that for like individual license. But I think what I'm going to suggest is to get the full membership because um, it's very helpful. So check out their website. So let's check this page and see how it is built. So this is a membership site. Um, that I set up purely with Mimberium and with the help of Jet Engines or Jet Plugins. And there's a specific section here that I want to show you. So in here, as you can see, we have some guidelines and these are PDF files. And we also have some workouts in here. Um, and yep, it's a list. But this page is built with elementor but not as like you need to go each page and manually style and drop drag and drop things out i actually built this as a template so all you need to do example if the client needs to update this page um, she just needs to edit the page let's open the editor um on the back end and as you can see here's the welcome video um the additional videos with which is located at the very bottom after the workouts and we also have the files downloadable files which is at the top and exercise videos and of course, this page or content is properly protected with Mimberium um, in here. So this website is not using any LMS plugins. Um, we're just using purely um, WordPress with Mimberium. And of course, with Jet Engine, we were able to create um, advanced custom post type with the fields that we need. Now, you... I recommend building this kinds of setup, especially if you already know like how you want your members um, to go through your program. Um, but plugins like LearnDash and TutorLMS and other stuff are also great, but sometimes they just don't work, especially if your program is very like specific in terms of the flow, in terms of the layout that you really want to have. Sometimes those um, LMS plugins just don't work. So this is one of those examples. So I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to show the back end how I built that in here. So I'm also going to point out that I added this um, mark complete indicator. And when I mark that complete on the module, this track icon also shows up. So it's very handy, especially if you just want a very simple progress indicator that your members could tick off um, and mark things complete in their list. Again, this is using Jet Engine. Um, Jet Engine has a functionality named Data Stores um, Jet Engine. And there is actually a very detailed video tutorials here um, that you could check. I also like WP tutorials. Um, he also explained this very well. So I highly suggest you check those videos out. But I want to let you know that the data store module is the one that I'm using for that check indicator. And it actually can do more. Like it could be used for recently viewed items and etc but most of the time in this website i'm just using it for this marking things complete so in here um, again 
um, the client does not need to work on the design and um, will be at peace that the layout won't get um, destroyed or um, adjusted if um, they need to um, update the content. So all they need to do is just go to this edit page and add more items if they have more exercise items and also they could um, add additional videos and so on depending on their need. Now I'm going to show you how I built this um, on the back end. So first is you need to create a single post. So if I edit this single post um, template, um, I created this and pulled some custom fields um, that I set up with Jet Engine. Um, let's go to the back end and go to post type. There's actually lots of things that I could share in this website when I built this, like how exactly I set things up. But um, if you have any question with any specific item that you see here, um, just comment it down below and I will make sure to address those maybe in my future videos. So let's go back. So this is the um, trainings for the module. So this is that one trainings. And if I click that, so as you can see, I have some meta fields. And again, check out the Croco Block or WP TUTS um, YouTube channel. Um, he explained this stuff very well, but in here, I set up some welcome videos because she needs that on the page. Um, additional videos, and this is a repeater type, so she could add more. She just needs to provide a video name and video source. And files, the same, repeater. Repeater means you could add more um, on the field, like in here. So that means there is this add item it's going to show, and she could add more stuff. And of course, I also have some complete tag set um, and then the exercise um, um, repeater. Now, the complete tag here, I set this up because um, before the original site has some complete tag and we may need to reuse those. But on this new version, we were just actually using the data stores functionality to allow members to mark this their stuff complete. So it's in there, but we are not making use of that data yet, but maybe in the future. So that's how I built that. Um, it's important to set those fields first before you start creating your template. Now in my template here, um, first is, if I go here, this is just, as you can see, this is just a listing grid. And it's pulling this um, listing template that I created. And same for the other stuff. Now, if we go here, um, there is this edit to chat plugins. It's going to show of all of my listing items. And one of the example is the weekly files. So if we edit that, just gonna close my single template here. So if I edit this, you're gonna see how I am pulling my data from this meta fields. So here I am getting this, and as you can see, um, this is just a preview. So it's a repeater field name is file name, and that's it. So it's actually a dynamic field pulling data from whatever you add in here. So that's this um, exercise. I think it's this file name. So as you can see, file name. And that's the one that I have here, file name. In the repeater field, you need to select which post type that data is going to be pulled from. So that's why it's able to recognize um, the correct field for that. And then the click here to download is a file link. So it's the one that I set up in here, file link. And then I do a um, short code and customize the link based on how 
it needs to act so it needs to open in a new um, page or new tab um, when the link is clicked so that's an example of how you could build a dynamic portion or dynamic listing for your website and um, jet engine is very helpful with that again this website is set up this way because the client already knows like um, she's been doing this for a long time and she already knows how she wants this to exactly work and this um this way of arranging the content works for her programs and when you need that or when you already know how you need your stuff to work um, it's important to set up this custom listing and so on and jet engine is very helpful with that and when if you're using um mimberium it's also very handy especially those tags so i hope this video helps and if you have any question just comment it down below and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye, -bye.